man, man, man. You talk about sports. Yo, I got sports for y'all. I got a ton of sports for y'all. I catch the train to work this morning. Adrian Peterson got cut. Then I look at the Washington football team running backs and I'm like, are you kidding me? You got unproven Bryce Love. You got a rookie by the name of Antonio Gibson. Unproven. You already cut Darius Geis. Cause he had some problems. So, I guess you're gonna go with Antonio Gibson. The third round pick. Peterson still is the best running back on that Washington football team. But he's 35 years old. He has no connection to the to the coaching staff. So he gotta go. Plus he's 35 years old. They're going with the they're going with the youngsters. The youth. I understand that, but dang, you don't want a veteran back on the team? Somebody that's good between the tackles? Who can move the chains? Peterson still had 2018 he had 1,000 yards. 2019 he almost had 1,000 yards. And he's playing on bum teams. The Washington football team is not good. But Peterson got cut. Cam Newton, he was named one of the captains of the Patriots. There was a lot of hype when Cam signed for pennies on the dollar that Cam might not be the starter. Man, a healthy Cam Newton, still a top 20 quarterback in the NFL. He still got skills, y'all. A lot of skills. So he's named the starter and he's named captain. The Cowboys cut Ha Ha Clinton, the safety. I thought he was going to be the starter. But they cut him. And know what's crazy, Xavier Woods, he's going to be the starter, but he's not healthy. He's nursing a groin injury. So he's not even healthy. They got a rookie, a fourth round pick, who's playing corner and safety. They got Darrell Worley. He has some problems with the sauce or alcohol. If he's healthy, I guess he can help us. He can help us. Cowboys got some good news. Randy Gregory's reinstated. He can practice, but he can't play until what, October 5th? So that's good news for the Cowboys. Also, Sean Lee will start the season on injured reserve. You know Sean Lee, the real good linebacker for the Cowboys, who always has a problem with injuries, but the Cowboys love him to death, so they won't cut him. That, that, Sean Lee. Also, Josh Gordon. Uh, he's back in the league, yeah. He's waiting to be reinstated, but he signed a one-year contract with the Seattle Seahawks. Even when Josh is reinstated, man, he's not. He ain't gonna make it through the whole season. And I hate to be negative, but come on, I've been rooting for this guy since 2013. He's always let me down and himself down. I'm gonna say it again. If you don't get help for your issues, it don't matter what kind of talent you have, what kind of skills you have, it's not gonna work out. Another guy, Alton Smith, or Alden Smith, he played lights out in practice. He seems like he might have it together, but we'll see what happens. He's another guy that couldn't beat his demons till till recently. Cowboys say he look good, yeah. They say he look real good in practice. For a guy who hasn't played in five years, 
He hasn't lost his speed or his skill set. Make an NFL comeback? Man, please. Stephen A. Smith. Look. He got some heart, y'all. Yeah. He said that Steve Nash, no fault of his own, he got the Nets job straight up, straight up white privilege. He's saying never in his 25 years of covering the NBA has a black coach got a head coaching job with no experience and he was hired to coach a championship contender. It's never happened. Stephen A. Smith also said he don't care who has a problem with what he, what he said. He said, of course, Steve Nash should take the job. Of course. He was just saying that never in the history of the NBA has a black coach with no experience coaching, no coaching experience, got a head coaching job, and took over a championship contender. Now you had coaches out there that had no coaching experience that got head coaching jobs. But there was trash jobs, y'all. Like Dirk Fisher coaching the Knicks, Knicks are tar terrible. Magic Johnson coaching the Lakers, they was horrible. Jason Kidd had a decent team when he coached the Nets. But they didn't have three All-Stars on the team. Doc Rivers, he had no coaching experience, but he took over a horrible Orlando, Orlando squad. So now I'm waiting for Stephen A. Smith to apologize and start shuffling, because that's what happens with minorities when they say something and people get on them most of the time they apologize they don't really mean it but they apologize just to please their supervisors and the people and their bosses that's what they usually do but Stephen A. Smith said I'm not going nowhere and I'm not I'm not I'm not apologizing we'll see how this plays out Lovey Smith's son. He went from being an assistant coach from the Bears with his father and Tampa Bay Buccaneers with his father's with his father, Lovey Smith, to being a full-blown criminal, y'all. A full-blown criminal. Of course there's more to it. Of course there's more to it. You don't go from being a coach in the NFL to a criminal. And then the crimes you're doing, it's not no real money. It's not no real money in that. Love his son is Michael Lee Smith. Now you're going to need your father to put some money up to get you a good lawyer. Now, will he get his son a lawyer? He probably will. Nobody wants to see their son or their child go away, for, go, to, go away from prison for 20 years. That's what he's facing. Well, I'm a little tired. Walked about six miles a day. I'm going to go watch some NBA, NBA playoffs. And uh, Toronto got lucky uh, last night. That shot at the buzzer, they got they got lucky. Milwaukee Bucks better do something. They better do something. They're still season to be over. They go down 3-0, it's a wrap. They're down 2-0. They go down 3-0, it's a wrap. It's over. So Giannis better find a way to get 50 points. And Middleton better find a way to get 30 points. Bledsoe better find a way to get 20 points. If not, they're going to lose. Talk to y'all later, y'all. It's Corner Sports Net.